Okay, Allison, we're rolling. It's said that people fear public speaking more than death. Why? Because being rejected, ostracized, and thrown out of our social network, at least back in our deep, dark pasts, meant death. But just the fear of embarrassment and judgment makes most of us sweat, take shallow breaths, and wish we had a do-over. I kind of have the public speaking part down. In 12 years as a DJ at NPR, I've had my share of hate mail, love letters, and everything in between. And still, she persists. But what I find curious as I prepare to leave on this five-month walk in New Zealand is a creeping fear of looking ridiculous. While it makes sense to be prepared for weather, animals, illness, injury, all that might obstruct smooth passage, my mind continually dwells on this question of, do you really know what the hell you're doing? It began with responses to my brand new coat, a dream of high quality down and only seven ounces of thru-hiker happiness, albeit electric safety zone orange. You gonna wear that? What's wrong with it? Halloween's in that for another month. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny because that was a popular style back in the 80s or so where they had the, the, oh. the puffier thing and now <laughs> it's this, back. This improves the situation? Uh, no. <laughs> no While I might label my fear a highly triggered self-consciousness, her ugly stepsisters are more deeply felt. Envy. Shame and regret. They lurk below the surface in an aggressive volley of criticism. Do you really think you can look like the perfectly clean, blister-free, young and fresh hikers of the Patagucci ads? Why didn't you do this hike sooner? 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 You're old enough to be some of these hikers' mom. Why didn't you do this hike sooner? Why, Why didn't, didn't you do, do this, this hike, hike sooner? sooner? <sighs> The late feminist writer Cynthia Heimel said, When in doubt, make a fool of yourself. There's a microscopically thin line between being brilliantly creative and acting like the most gigantic idiot on earth. So what the hell? Leap! Most hikers know the phrase, hike your own hike. When I wonder if I'll find my tribe on this trail, or if, after taking a leave of absence at the age of 53 going on 54, I'll be all alone in my world of walking the length of a country. I tell myself, hey, we're all wounded. We all have issues. We all have insecurities. Does this walk become the end all and be all that reveals and heals? Maybe, maybe not. But for sure, something will happen. And when it does, I'll be dressed for success in that big, bright, aggressive orange coat. This audio narrative is supported by John Reamer & Associates, a private wealth advisory practice of Ameripai's Financial Services Incorporated, located in Minnesota with 30 years of experience. Thanks, John. And thanks so much to the Guru from Kevin McLeod, Apero Hour, licensed under Creative Commons. All right, we got it. That was awesome.